there are a couple shortcuts bars that are useful to use or shortcuts areas that are useful to use including the S key which brings up a shortcuts button menu as well as the mouse gestures which you can access by holding down the right mouse and then when you hover over one of these items it's going to allow you to access that feature or in this case it's preloaded with views so you'll access that view but those are things we can customize and that's what we'll go through the first being that S key and in order to customize this I can simply right click in and then you can drag in any tools you'd like to be added in and this specific toolbar is going to apply for working with parts at the feature level and there's four different shortcut areas like this that you can access ones within the sketches we have a different bar for sketches and if we wanted if we use a lot of extrusions for example we could always add this in and have those readily available at our fingertips you also have one of these bars for drawings and assemblies and those will be different commands that you can customize so once again simply just right clicking in and customizing this if you want to remove any items you can drag them off anywhere into this area and for new items simply drag them in in this same interface you can see quite a few options we can choose out our toolbars we can customize our menus so you can change the commands that are included in the file pull down edit and any of these other pull downs and the keyboard shortcuts can be changed as well for example the zoom to fit is F if we wanted to change to something else we could do that as well and any of these other tools that we use for example if I wanted an extrusion to be a certain key I could always type in any sort of option control D shift F something like that but you can add in pretty much anything you want for the keyboard shortcuts the next is mouse gestures if you do work with mouse gestures I suggest changing this to eight gestures and doing that gives you quite a few more places to put different commands you can also access the customize from the command manager and for those mouse gestures once again we have four different setups one for parts one for assemblies drawings and sketches and for example if I use a lot of surfacing tools I could always add pretty much all of these in and once you select an option here if it's already been selected it'll simply override to your new selection so you can see now I still have those two default views that I haven't changed but everything else is some sort of surfacing tool and once you right click and drag once you hit the tool itself it'll open that up we can also customize a command manager tab for example by default if you open up the sheet metal tab it won't have the swept flange but if we come into commands to sheet metal you can always drag that in and this also goes for toolbars that you're working with if we have let's say the features bar open we can once again customize this and add in any tool that we want 